Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. And today I'm gonna to be doing my review of the Chris Benz Professional Depth Meter Dive Watch with Chronograph and Alarm. The reference number is CB-D200-S-KBS. Now this is a German company established in uh, 1995, so quite a new company, uh, but it is enjoyed by uh, diving and sports enthusiasts all over the world and it seems to be quite popular especially in the diving community so I thought I'd take a look at something completely different uh, this is of course on loan from Long Island watches they are the official uh, supplier uh, this side of the pond in the United States for Chris Benz and they have quite a wide variety of watches and instead of looking at the kind of automatic piece I decided to look at something completely different a watch that I've never ever, you know, a style of watch that I've never looked at. So as you see, it's an Annie Digi watch. So it has digital um, liquid displays on the dial and then a traditional analog uh, clock on the main dial. And as you can see, it's a quartz. And I'm just gonna, before I get into the, the nitty gritty of the, the review, I'm just gonna quickly go through the technical specifications. So this is made out of solid marine um, grade stainless steel. Uh, it has a screw down back, as you see there, uh, a screw down crown as well. Uh, of course, you see the main sensor on the side there. It has a high quality, precise quartz movement and it is the, let me just get this absolutely right, it's the Citizen CS00 quartz. Battery lasts for about two years. So let's just talk briefly about the size. We have a 41, we have a 41 millimeter diameter case, quite a thick watch. This of course is very thick because it has the, the sensor, 20 millimeter lug width. And then from lug to lug, it's about, I'd say about 47 lug, lug to lug. So quite a big watch. Uh, even though the di diameter is small, it is quite tall and uh, it definitely wears a lot bigger than, than, than it actually is. So the water resistance, as you see on the dial at the moment, it's, um, it's underneath that, the, the hands, but it does actually say water resistant to 200 meters. And then the logo, the really cool shark logo, uh, the name and some, a few indices. Um, I, I really like the nine and three. We have a rotating bezel on the outside. Uh, luminescent uh, indices on the inside, some really cool hands, skeletonized hands. We also have sapphire glass here. And then of course we have three pushes. This is the mode, stop, start, reset, and then the crown at the bottom. Now, this is a bit of a mixed, this is a really quite a difficult watch to review. Firstly, obviously I can't go testing the actual depth gauge. I'm not going to be going on vacation for a little while just yet and the only place I can really test it out would be in the East River here and uh, unfortunately the NYPD will not appreciate me trying to dive um, in quite a busy busy shipping lane. So um, however uh, let's assume that the, the, the depth meter works for the, for the sake of this review and let's just analyze the watch. Um, it's really, really difficult to, to, to see the displays uh, on, the, on, the, um, on the dial. Um, and even in a well-lit room like this, it's really tricky to see the negative di display. So what I've done, I pulled out, quickly pulled out the crown and moved the hands to about uh, six or seven minutes to nine so I can see the screen. Now, as we press the, the mold button, we cycle through these five different uh, features. So we have time selected, and then if we press again, it goes onto alarm, which is off. Chronograph, which you see displayed here. And if I stop and start the chronograph, so now it's timing, as you can see here. And then it will display, you have your dive time here. So let's just stop that, reset it and then we'll go to the log. This is your diving log. Keeps track of your number of dives, the month, date, maximum depth, your dive time, your start time, uh, your end time, your average depth and lowest temperature. So quite a handy thing to have. 
Um, and then the last, if we just cycle through to the last thing, uh, DAL, which is dive alarm mode. So uh, here you can actually set uh, alarms for various depths and it will beep when you get to that depth. How you hear that underwater, I have no idea. Um, seems a bit redundant, but you know, it's, it's the features there. But anyway, um, unfortunately, I'm, I can't give this watch a good review. There are more problems with it than there are redeeming features. Now, on paper, this watch would seem like the best watch ever to go diving with because it has so many useful tools and information. However, the execution of this watch leaves a lot to be desired. As you see, these subdials are extremely difficult to read and figure out what's going on. And I often get lost and I, I don't even, I, you know, it's, it's even difficult to see with the camera on macro. And uh, as you see, I've got time selected. Um, so a bit of a, a huge letdown and it really defeats the, the purpose of the watch. Not being able to read these e easier in normal light or in decent light is a huge problem and can only be worse if you're underwater. So it really really renders all the rich features of this watch completely redundant and it's such a shame. Um, on top of that there are quality control issues. For example a, a viewer when I did the unboxing very observant uh, viewer noticed that these rivets here on which I must admit is very nice and easy to grab uh, are not aligned if you see this marker here it's not aligned with with the rivets on the on the bezel edge and this is it's just aesthetic but if you're paying four hundred dollars you expect it to, to you know I, I you can buy a Seiko for 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 a hundred dollars and it, and uh, everything will will line up perfectly so you know there are little kind of things that need to be finished off another thing is if you see the second hand the quartz second hand it doesn't actually fall directly on the little indices on the chapter ring now whether it's because the chapter ring is misaligned which i don't think so because at the 12 it lines up perfectly it's not terribly off but you know you you expect a little bit more quality at this price point let's talk about the construction and finish now as you can see there are some lovely polished sides um, I believe that's a helium escape valve there. The buttons and everything does is done very well. It's it's quite solid. There's a tiny bit of wiggle play on the bezel. It's not the most secure bezel. Uh, the aluminum insert is done quite nicely. The loom actually is is quite good on this. The 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 loom markers light up very very nicely, and I do like these skeletonized hands especially like the hour hand it's something completely different i'm not sure why it's it's like that but um it's it's cool to look at and i do i do like the little red dash of red on the second hand it's very easy um you know to to, to see and 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 i like that now we uh let's talk a bit about the rubber band i'm this rubber band you can you can if you just smell it it smells very plastic it actually smells like um scuba gear which is quite fitting but hasn't got the the it's not the high quality uh, Italian um, rubber that I'm used to with with like the Orises and the Squale and stuff like that it's not the, the the best strap I've ever seen but you know it does the job and and it is very secure and quite strong and robust uh, you do have a little um, c uh, compression chart a real shame I was excited about this watch I really wanted to, to, to get into it and, and go through the features but as you can see I you can hardly see it on the screen so um, it, it's, it's gonna be a complete waste of time me talking about these these features if you can't even see it um, so a real real shame because you know beautiful um, packaging you know and generally it's not a bad watch uh, it is a bit of a quiet taste. It's quite kind of it's fugly. I would describe it kind of ugly and and, and attractive somehow. But um, close parallels in its aesthetics to the Bre uh, Bretling event um, emergency. Sorry, yeah, the Bretling emergency. But um, yeah, just a real shame that um, instead of a negative display, just a regular LCD display, so it's more legible. Then I, I think it could be quite a good watch. And also, if they just managed to 
get the quality control right and make everything line up um, then I think you know uh, diving watches with a depth meter are definitely something that is useful but uh, it's just a shame that the uh, execution has left a lot to be desired so uh, in my view definitely more faults than there are positives uh, I would I would like to see where Chris Benz go next with this and and you know I think they definitely need to kind of rethink um, what they're doing and 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 come up with something a little bit more practical um, but you know a, a good start and I look forward to seeing you know more offerings from this company uh, I think they're on the right path it's just um, you know it's incredibly difficult to to, to make a watch and to get everything absolutely right but um, there's definitely a lot more possibilities anyway so that's been my kind of brief review uh, of this um, Chris Benz depth meter I just wish it was um, more, you know I just wish you could see the the actual uh, I mean you can kind of see it you can see me cycling through the different features but it's so difficult to read how on earth would you see this underwater uh, it's just not practical at all so probably a work in progress um, I wouldn't mind checking out their analog you know their um, mechanical uh, uh, automatic pieces I so guys I'm gonna leave it there a bit of a mixed review uh, but you know I think it's important to be honest and, and tell you guys how it really is um, I'm not gonna you know deceive you into telling you this is a fantastic watch when it's not uh, there's a lot of um, uh, things to be finished and, and, and you know this is quite a way to go to, to being it's almost like a prototype you know that's what it feels like to me um, but anyway guys so that's the uh, Chris Benz depth meter uh, thank you very much for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it please uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll catch you next time okay guys ciao